A cat rescued from the street with no tongue, and now he needs the community's help. His name is Snowball, and the cat was found with an entire colony of cats in the Central Valley. Now he has a spot lined up with a special needs sanctuary, but he needs some other assistance before he can finally get there. 8 News Now anchor Sasha Loftus shares his story. This here is Snowball. He and his brother Thomas were two of several cats rescued from an area in the Central Valley. But once rescuers got a hold of him, they realized he actually has a special condition and needs a lot of help. This poor baby has been eating this aggressively for literally 20 minutes. An animal with a true will to live. It's like, how, how, how is he eating? How is he even drinking water? Meet Snowball, a cat found on the street with a condition you couldn't imagine. He's missing his tongue. Sarah Harper found Snowball living with a cat colony near an apartment complex in the Central Valley. I love you. When she noticed he wasn't able to eat well, she took him to the vet and made the discovery. The vet came out and she was floored and she said, oh my God, it's an absolute miracle. This is insane, he has no tongue. She says the Poppy Foundation a special sanctuary for special needs cats has agreed to take Snowball and his bonded brother Thomas in. But like most other rescues across the valley, they're overrun with unwanted animals. It has to do with the economy because a lot of people just say I can't feed anymore, so I'm just going to dump them. So Sarah is doing what she can to help. They're out of space, time and money. And so what they need from me is to raise at least $5,000 uh, to cover their lifetime of medical expenses. And she's hoping anyone who sees this story will be inspired to be a part of Snowball's new start. He wants to live. That was the key part. He really wants to live. Now, if you would like to help Snowball, there is a GoFundMe up right now. They're looking to raise about $5,000. We have more information on our website, 8newsnow.com. Reporting in the Central Valley tonight, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now. So as for the other cats in that colony, two of them were friendly enough to be adopted. A few were treated and released and several others are staying with fosters.